This conference will now be recorded. Okay, hi guys, welcome to the session. Uh, today we will cover. Uh, so, so, uh, so last week we covered about uh, the different type of EC2 instance we have. Uh, what? Uh, uh, so there are to basically total seven type of EC2 instance which we could. Let me just share my screen. Okay. Yeah, so uh, yeah, last week we covered what is EC2 cloud, what is cloud, what are the deployment models in the cloud, and uh, what are the type of instances we have, general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized. Uh, so these are the type of instances which we covered. And then after that, we covered uh, about the different purchasing options in uh, uh, which we have in, in AWS. These are the different purchasing options which we covered. Okay. After that, uh, we also covered, I guess, what is uh, the, I mean, how to access your EC2 instance. We created the EC2 instance as well. And uh, we also spoke, I mean, what happens when, when you uh, terminate your EC2 instance, when you stop your EC2 instance, how you are charged uh, by AWS, uh, uh, I mean, uh, when you create an EC2 instance. So last week I told you when if we create an EC2 instance, we are not charged for instance. Actually, we are basically charged for storage. And if you stop the EC2 instance, then also you will be charged for storage. So if you don't want to get charged, please terminate your EC2 instance. Okay, so this is what we covered. After that, uh, these are the block, um, the two storage, which I told you, elastic block storage instance storage. So what is uh, EBA? So what is EC2 back? E ELB and what is EC2 backed instance storage? So EC2 backed ELB means your OS is in uh, elastic block. In your OS is in elastic blo block storage. OS is an operating system. Maybe it is Linux or Windows or Mac OS, whatever it is. Instance backed. Ins uh, so EC2 backed instance storage means uh, your OS operate that is operating system is in instance storage, and how the data is lost and all. This is what we covered. So today what we are going to do is today I am going to uh, show you about uh, what to drop and catch the recordings. Okay. Sure. Okay, Sujata, I will share the slides. Just give me some time. Let's let's go one by one. Let me first cover a few topics then definitely I will share the slides okay e EC2 we are going to finish it by today okay and uh, then we'll I'll share the slides okay so today topic is a little bit interesting topic uh, okay so uh, today I will show you how to create a web page on a EC on the EC2 instance okay let's start Okay, so this is my EC2 dashboard, AWS, sorry, AWS console dashboard. So now as you can see, I don't have any instance which is running right now. So before just going ahead, I just wanted to ask with you guys, I mean, you all have the AWS instance, right? If not, please create one AWS console. You will not, not be charged even a single a many, uh, a penny from AWS they will charge I think one dollar or two dollar uh, in advance uh, I mean once you you enter your card details but that amount is also refundable it will get refundable okay and the free access is for one complete year I again I'm reminding you Microsoft Azure gives account access it's free account access only for one month AWS giving for one year I mean that's how good it AWS is they want you to learn AWS, so please create an account. And trust me, it's 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 very. I mean, I mean, it's it's it's. I mean, the console is very user friendly, and you will love it. Okay, so let's let's create an instance. Okay, so I will name it my first web page. So we are going to create a web page.
you can take any name i'm selecting windows this is the instance which i'm selecting this is the full description 64 bit instance this is the ami id i'm selecting t2 micro as i told you it's a free tier eligible i mean you can select other instance as well but again you will be charged and there's no point of selecting other instance because your work i mean t2 micro is enough to do hands-on so let's go with free tier account only key pair login so i will select the key pair i created last uh, in my last class but again you can uh, create a new pair new key pair as well as i showed you okay let me create a new key pair my uh, web page i'm just giving any name you can give any name okay create a key pair it's downloaded okay now this is uh, the vpc this is the default vpc of aws of aws which aws provides okay subnet no preference again these are the topic which we will cover in the i mean uh, this is our next topic basically okay and this is the firewall security group so we will allow rdp connections so that we can connect we can take the rdp connection of the instance we will allow the traffic from the internet both http and https okay we'll select the configuration storage as 30 gb for now okay okay but but today we will learn two things actually first we will learn uh, about how to host a web page okay and the second thing is we will learn how to add extra vo volume okay so as you can see now i mean we have 30 gb okay so right now i'm adding one more uh, and we will take it take we will go with magnetic because magnetic is a is the is the cheapest one okay i'm just adding one more storage that's it okay again advanced detail not required number of instance one this thing i'll show you after this topic so this is the t2 micro let's uh, security group is attached to volume you can see let's go and launch the instance so instance got launched successfully let's wait for two minutes uh, because it's in pending state right now The recording is in progress. Yes. Let's wait for a couple of minutes to get the status check as two by two. Let's see now. The status check is still initializing. So let's wait. It usually takes two to three minutes to uh, launch the instance.
let's refresh it yes okay so now the status check is 2 by 2 okay, so now what we will do is we'll go in in the instance and i'm using mac if you guys are using windows i have showed you how to connect to the instance okay but i will uh, try to tell you by uh, i mean uh, today as well so we have copied the public ip address and if you're using windows you need to connect and you need to go to rdp client download the remote desktop file okay the remote desktop file will be downloaded after that you guys have to uh, decrypt the password i'll tell you how to do that i hope i'm not on mute yeah i'm not on mute okay, okay, okay. where is my remote desktop so this is my remote remote desktop what i'll do is i'll go and paste the ip add it username will be by default administrator okay now uh, i showed you that day how to decrypt the password first click on get password okay this was the key pair which i created so i'll upload the private key which i created where it is my web page okay so basically just to tell you one thing why are we uploading this private key the, this private key we are uploading because AWS we, we have created this this private key right so AWS will by default have this private key in the account in in the, in its console and when we have downloaded so it will compare both the keys and then it will give you the password if I enter some other private if I upload some other private key then it will not match and it will not give me the password okay that is why it has clearly mentioned here the key pair, uh, the key pair associated with this instance is this one and this one I have to up, uh, and the same key pair key pair I have to the same private key sorry the same private key I have to upload so now let's decrypt the password so see the password is dip, is decrypted copy the password and the remote desktop file which you have downloaded you, you'll have to click on that it will ask for the password enter the password that's it bingo you will be into your AWS account now what same thing I'm doing administrator let me paste the password continue so I am basically inside the page just a moment So now we have all. I hope my screen is visible. Yeah, because the screen is shared. Okay, so let's refresh it. Refresh. Just give it. Just give it a minute. Yeah. Now, now it is back actually. okay so now again we'll refresh it now go to server manager so what basically we have to do is we have to install a web server and then we have to create a web page on this windows server okay so go to server manager manager go to server manager it's opening it's taking some time
let it open it's configuring the roles So this is this this is our server manager. Here we will install the. Okay, it's still configuring. It usually doesn't take this much time, but I'm not sure why today it's taking so much time. Okay, yeah, it's done. Okay. done so now what we'll do is we'll add role and feature okay do next we will select role based or feature based installation we will not select as remote based text remote desktop service installation we'll go with this click on next so yeah so this is the 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 instance ip which we have okay so click on next now we have to uh, create a web server so we will create so we will select this web server okay we will add this feature this is the web server right we have to we have to create a web server web page so for web page we have to create a web server is web server so we are selecting is web server we'll go on next okay we will again do next next okay so http logging okay we'll log we can log in through http yeah that's it we'll do it as next so there's a there's a, an option restart but don't restart we should, i mean let's not do the restart it'll work like that only let's click the button installation so it, it is installing the web server now so let the installation complete guys it will hardly take a minute guys if you have any doubt please feel free to ask Okay, this is this is the very important thing which we are doing right now. We are actually installing. We are actually hosting and trying to host a website on a, on on a web server. So this is very important. This is a real time example which I'm showing it to you. So please. Uh, if you are watching this recording don't only watch please try to create a website but try to create a, your own web page So the, just a quick verification. This this tab will be will remain the same, right? If I use other web server like Tomcat and sorry, which tag? This tab, this tab, this tab will be the same, right? Whatever you're doing for the other web server, like if I use Tomcat, other like you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you're using Tomcat uh, or any Apache server, it'll be same. Okay. Okay. We are doing it on IS. Oh, okay. Do you, do you have the AWS account with you? No, I I used to have it, but I closed it. I have to reopen it actually. So they charge okay. they charge money. I opened like last year, but I did not have time to run actually. 
so i quit that time so i have to go back and again oh okay okay yeah. okay let it i don't know why it's taking so much time to install the web server okay it, it, the installation is succeeded okay so what we will do is we will close it we will close the server manager as well so now let's go to our c drive so in c drive one folder this is the folder which gets created okay you can see the the, the date created and you, you can match with the date here 9 10 9 2023 10 9 2023 3:57 p.m. now it's 3:59 so 2 minutes ago this folder got created okay so we'll go into www root so here you will find two two of the folders please delete it we will delete this we will delete this as well and what we will do is we'll create a new one oh sorry minute we will create a new file text document we will create a new text document okay so here you can write hi this is shivan is my first web page just so much guys i'm getting a call oh yeah it's fine okay so hi this is shivam this is my first web page okay now do one thing go and save as So we will save as index dot html. Okay, all files save in all files. So you have to save by this name only index dot html. Okay, save it. Now close it. Now you will see one icon. So now, uh, so this is the edge icon which has been created. Okay. So now what do do one thing? Delete this text document. We don't need this text document now. Okay. Done. This uh, we have created. Now let's go back to our AWS account. Okay. So let's try to access what we have created. So this is our public address, public IP address. We'll go here. We'll paste it here. Mm. Let's try to. check okay see here you can access this is our web page this is our first web page hi this is shivam this is my first web page you are able to access it right okay can you guys check if you are able to access it so this is a very important lab guys which we have which we are doing so please if you are watching the recording please watch it very carefully and try to perform the hands on uh Sayed, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, can you try to access this web page? Yeah, let me try. The same for you. I I have pasted the comment in in the comment section. Okay, let me open the. Sorry. Let me open the uh, yeah. chat on the computer. Now I'll try. Yeah, and 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 Sujata, if you are also there, please uh, try to uh, access the link. Will now be recorded. Have you started sharing your screen? Uh, is it is it accessible? Say it. Your your voice is somehow not audible to me. Let me bring the headset. Okay, me. okay, fine, fine. Then, then I 
then I will go ahead. I mean, while and I will share other topic. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay guys. So, uh, so yeah, this is the first web page which we have created. Okay. So this was our first task of the hands-on. Okay. Now I will show you one other thing. Now the second task which we have for today is how to add an extra volume. Now let's say you are working on a project. Okay. Or or let's say you are the solution architect, and let's say I am I am a DevOps engineer. Okay. So I am I am working on a project. Uh, you have created the whole infrastructure. You have given the infrastructure to me. Now uh, I go to my manager and I tells that and I tell him that uh, I need an extra storage in my in my server because I need to test the application. I need to for testing the application. I need to install a few extra softwares and I don't have the space in my in my server. So I need an extra storage. So what my manager will do is it will go to the AWS cloud team it will go to the cloud ops team and it will go to the and it will go to the cloud ops manager he'll go to the cloud ops manager he'll tell this is what the issue is so now he will come to you as a cloud engineer you will have to create an extra storage for me so how will you create that i will show you you uh, yes you can access the above link okay so Sujata can access the above link i will share it again uh, Asujata, uh, I mean, the link which I have shared, it 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 says right uh, that uh, hi, this is Shivam. This is my first web page, right? Yes, Shivam. Yeah. Okay, 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 sir. Thank you so much. Okay, so yeah, so as I told you, uh, what if you are working on an app, app, on an application, on a project, and you want some extra storage? So let me first go to my AWS account. So this is my AWS account. Okay, so here you can see 20, only 30 GB. But now you should ask that uh, Shivam, we added extra 8 GB, right? So that I will show you where that extra 8 GB is. Server manager, we will go to server manager again. Yeah, I can access the page. Your message. Okay. I can see that. Thank you. Okay, this is the server manager again. We are in server manager. And let it complete the scanning. So whatever we have done till now, what I mean the web page which we created, please go and see here also you can see IIS a web server. If you go to server manager earlier, it was not there. So if you're watching the recording, please watch it carefully. This IIS server link was on, the option was not there earlier. Now it is showing that. Okay, but anyways, now we'll go to file and storage services. Okay, we'll go to disk. Now here you can see extra 8 GB which we added when we were creating the instance. But this is offline. So when you click here, it's coming here. It's coming in this volume option, right? But you, if you click on the second uh, uh, option, it is not coming. <coughs> so this is offline. Okay. So now to make this online, right click, bring online. Okay, so now it is online, but to show it in your disk, in your C drive, you need to create a volume here. So we'll go here, we'll create next. Okay, this is the volume, we'll select it. Next, okay, 7 GB. Okay, D drive, fine, create it. Please go and create it. See, it's creating. Mm. 
now close it so now again i will have to close it now see here you can see extra volume which we have added now let's say the in the the server is ready up and ready okay the extra volume it was added at the time of creation of the server but what if the server has already been created now at this point of time the server has already been, uh, been created now now i add now i want to add some extra volume how will i do that so for that i will go to my ec2 instance okay let me show you now here there's an option volumes go to volumes okay we will create an extra volume okay so by the way guys just one more thing uh, option is not done. okay okay fine fine so, so uh, we will create a new yeah it, so this is the physical volume you are creating on the server right yeah this is this is see let's say see that that uh, 30 gb and 8 gb those two volumes were created at the time of instance creation okay right, yeah. but right now what if you need some extra it's it's like a hard disk it's oh, like a hard disk which we are creating so what if we want to create uh, an extra volume now how to create that that i am showing it to you right now. Mm -hmm. okay, so i'm correct. creating some extra volume okay just just pay, pay pay attention to this okay i'm selecting this standard one because this is very cheap okay let's uh, let's not take 100 gb we'll check take some 55 gb <laughs> availability zone any let it be ap south zone okay now in we will not in we'll go for encryption and all we'll just create the volume okay so this is 55 gb this is already been created okay but it is available see these two volumes are already in use but it is available this volume you can attach it to any instance okay okay so let's okay let's select this go to action and here you can see attach volume so we'll go to attach volume so now here it is us it is giving the volume id availability zone and instance we only have one instance right now okay the instance should be here is the instance which is not fetching any instance just a minute instance it should fetch the instance only instance okay 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 i think this instance is not in the okay we'll cancel it we'll create one more volume same magnetic 5 gb i think the instance is in south b okay so we'll go for south b we'll not go for encryption we will create it south b okay so let we will delete this one. We will go and we will delete this volume first. Okay, so now this is the volume which, which we have created. It's, it's available. Go to action, attach volume. Now our instance. So this is our our instance. You can see my first web page. So we have only one instance in the in the in the availability zone. We'll create the instance. Okay. We'll attach the volume to this instance now let's go and attach it okay so we have already attached it so now here you can see it it is coming in use okay so now let's go back to our instance where is our instance see but here it is not showing up now because it is still offline so again we will go to server manager So guys the reason i'm closing server manager again and again is because i wanted to show you what is the exact process okay so again let it but i was not expecting that it will take so much time to gather all the data but okay it is not taking much time this time anyways thank, thank god okay so here we will go to disk 
so now here we can see that 55 gb volume is available here okay but again it is offline so what we will do we will bring it online first of all okay after that we'll select it here we'll see again if i select these two volumes it is showing the data here for these two for this it is not showing because it is online but we have to create that volume so we'll go and we'll create it next we'll select it we'll create next okay here it is asking that whether you want to create the disk space of all 55 gb or i mean you want to create let's say a 10 gb 15 gb and the rest you want to keep it as a backup but let's go and create the whole volume because the devops guide guy need the whole volume as 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 a as a, as a i mean the whole volume in the instance to test the application so let's go and create it as e drive next next create it so it is getting created okay it is created closed now you can see all should be showing here let's go to my computer see we got a volume attached here so these two volumes are the volumes which we created while creating the instance and this is the volume which we have created just now so we can so scale we can. up as much as we can we want right yes again 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 as much as you can of course you can scale up but again that uh, charge is also uh, the, yeah. the charge will be added up so you'll have to uh, be that careful yeah Oh, okay, okay. Yes. okay okay so this but again see i have showed you how to create a web page i have showed you how to add an extra volume but this will not be as much fruitful as it has to be because you have to do it on your own you have to create an aws account you have to uh, i mean practice the labs uh, i'll try to check if i can uh, create some im role and give it to you but that also will be for one or two labs i mean but you need to practice practice it uh, i mean on your own right so for that you'll have to create the account so are you also teaching us how to uh, maintain uh, i mean control the budget because i know there's they charge a lot of money right? if you leave something yeah, open yeah. there that's what yeah, happened with I me last time actually. Yeah. yeah i showed on the first class so oh okay um, I but no no issues see these uh, let me uh, so sujata you and sujata is there so sujata uh, were you there in the first class where i showed how to manage the budget and sujata which error you are asking what are the scenarios we can expect this kind of error okay so when you come uh, online please uh, let me know okay uh, yeah so i will show you how to control the budget it was i showed you in the i showed the guys in the first class okay, no that's okay if it, is, if it is like a time taking so what you can do you can share the video we will watch videos and come back okay so like actually time. it's just a two minutes of thing if you want oh, i can okay. Okay. because see a uh, two today's agenda was too hands-on which i've already covered now i will give you a brief background about the next topic because ec2 is completed I've, i will now cover the most important uh, i mean part of uh, which which uh, with, uh, the most important topic of aws solution architect which is vpc i mean a lot of questions are asked uh, from from vpc in the exam okay. or in the interview okay so i will cover that i'll just give you a brief background about it but before going ahead I'll, let me just go to the billing dashboard so this is the billing dashboard okay. okay so this is the budget report from here you can see all your budgets okay um, then 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 just explore saving plan billing preferences budgets yeah here 
in budgets you can create your own budget okay use a uh, a template which is very a, a simple one so this is a zero spend budget you i mean uh, give your email let's say x y z z at the rate gmail dot com okay and it will send you an email whenever uh, you are about to cross uh, uh, the zero spend limit this is monthly cost budget in monthly cost you specify that i don't want to spend more than 100 so once you reach 90% of this 100 let's say i mean you reach around 90 dollars or 91 dollars it will send you an email that you are about to cross and the similar way we have daily plans and daily reservation utilization budget so this is basically used by corporates so we we uh, basically use these two so this is how you can control your budget but for free tier account even if you uh, uh, i mean incur some bill don't worry because aws will uh, uh, wave that bill off so no need to worry on that but okay so this is uh, our ec2 uh, we have covered uh, all the topics of ec2 so let's uh, let me go back to the slide Okay, so what is our next topic? So our next topic is VPC. Okay, so, uh, but before teaching VPC, I, uh, okay, so, so Syed, do you know uh, about the IP address thing? How IP address is allocated, how we choose the IP address? Yeah, so I know, know a bit actually, yeah, I, I know a bit actually, so. Okay, so if yeah. I ask you how many classes are there in IP address? What will be your answer? I think there should be three classes, I believe, three or four. They name a class I mean, A, class B, class C, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 IP address is uh, basically a thirty-two bit logical address, right? Four octet. I mean, it is divided into four octet. One octet is eight bit. Zero yeah. to twenty-five. Is, sorry, zero to two fifty-five is the uh, uh, I mean range, but I don't think everybody knows it, so I might have to cover that basic uh, apart okay. with. It. Okay, but but just to uh, I mean show you, uh, I mean just to give you a summary, there are five classes uh, in IP address: class A, class B, class C, class D. So class A is uh, basically uh, one point zero point zero point zero two one two six point zero point zero point zero. Let me just write it down here. If So I will just to show you guys. So if uh, any anybody of you doesn't know IP address, please just go and cover it once. So there are four classes, as I to uh, sorry five classes, five classes of IP, of IP address. Class A, Class B, Class C, Class D. Okay. So, uh, class A is basically so one dot zero dot zero dot zero two one two six dot zero dot zero dot zero class E is Basically, one two eight dot zero dot dot zero dot zero two one nine one dot two five five dot zero dot zero. Okay. Then we have class C. 
which is one nine two dot zero dot zero dot zero two 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 three dot two five sub two five five dot two five dot zero this is the class C. So these three are the classes of IP address which we use. Apart from that, there are two more classes, okay, which is class B, and class B is two two four two two three five two three five. No, not two three two three nine. So we have class B e is basically two four zero two two five five. So class b is basically used for multi asking and this is used in research work so these these two we will not use okay now you should ask me one question that where is 127 part so we have missed 127.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. So this is actually reserved IP address, reserved for loop back address. This is reserved. This we don't use. Okay. This is reserved. So this is a very important question which interviewer can ask me in the exam. I I I faced this the question in, in two of the companies. Okay so what is this uh one yeah sorry somebody somebody was saying something oh is it the 127.0.0 this is like a local ip yes, we use yes, yes right right right, right. Oh, okay. local look if there's some internet issues and in, in, in your laptop i mean so to to check that so this is so this is the question which i faced uh in my interview okay dne we we don't use okay so yeah but again, I will try to cover uh, as much as possible uh, of IP address in my next class. Okay, uh, after after giving you a brief background on VPC. So what is VPC? So, uh, Sayyid, can you tell me what is VPC? Do you do you have any anything any idea on that? It's a kind of a network, right? It's a virtual private network that you can manage your own specific area in the cloud. Yes. So so can, can you, yeah. Can you first tell me how many type of clouds are there? Uh, there are what well, is like you know the uh, we have a uh, private cloud and we have a public cloud and we have a hybrid cloud. Yes. So so what is VPC? I mean VPC is, is actually virtual private cloud. So private so to create private cloud, let's say you are you you are an organization. Okay, you want to open your own private cloud because private cloud cloud is more secure, right? It is not yeah. accessible to the to the public. So, if you want to create your own private cloud, you would need servers. Okay, you would need a large size of server. You you need to pay a lot of electricity bill to maintain that server. Now, servers. Uh, I mean, if if you are if you are creating your own data center, you'll have to uh, spend so much on ACs because AC should be 24 by 7 running. Okay, and then again, a lot of uh, uh, I mean, to to create your data center, a lot of instances. Or, I mean, a lot of systems are required. So you'll have to spend crores of money to to create your own private cloud. So what AWS is giving is AWS is giving you the same private cloud, but on AWS, and which will be isolated from other uh, 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 VPCs. Oh, you got it. Again, it yeah, is it is more. It is it is same secure as 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 your private cloud is, but it is on cloud. It is not on a premises. So AWS is uplifting all the extra cost which you have to bear, like electricity bill. Because if AC is running twenty four by seven, you can you should know how much electricity bill you will you are going to occur, right? And to and to maintain that server, you need extra uh, a bit of people. Uh, I mean, extra bit of workforce. So what AWS is doing is it is moving your private cloud on AWS, so so that all those costs are uplifted. Okay, and what if I mean let's let's take a, a worst scenario. What if the business fails? What if 
the company fails then again those server data center what will they do they have it physically in their in their uh, premises right but if they have it on on aws they can just uh, i mean remove it they'll have to just pay the bill of the rent that's it i mean they will they will save a lot of money on that so that is that is virtual private cloud it's it's basically a virtual network which uh, which 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 very closely uh, resembles with the traditional network that uh, that is operated i mean in the physical data center okay so again so it is logically as i told you it is logically isolated from uh, other virtual uh, cl clouds so you know aws provides so i'll i'll just i'll show you one thing so here if you go in ec2 let let me go to vpc okay so vpc is here vpc so here you will see that there's always there's already a vpc which is created by default you mean yeah by default that is of aws that is aws is giving you that vpc it is already created but again you will tell that's okay i don't trust aws i need my own vpc that is why it gives you an extra option to create a vpc from here only you create a vpc okay so in in one region so now you can see there are many regions right so in one region you can create maximum of five vpcs which can be created in one region okay and there's a concept of subnet also uh, I, i will show you in the diagram so okay so this is basically uh, the aws here this is the aws cloud this is the vpc it is physically isolated from all other networks okay and in vpc you have two kind of subnet one is public subnet one is private subnet again those who are watching the recordings if you think that you are not getting this please don't worry i'll 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 share each and every uh, step in details but right now i'm just giving an overview just try to visualize things visualize the things okay so this is vpc and in vpc you have you will be having two subnet one is public subnet and one is private subnet so uh, say it can you tell me what is public subnet and what is private subnet i mean what what public basically public basically is the other people can share right somehow but private mm -hmm. is only for the specific for the company like let's say my okay. my company yeah mm -hmm. okay so if i if i uh, uh, tell you so uh, see this is the vpc which belongs to your company only okay oh, okay in your company only you have created two subnets let's let's say that this is this is a a, a vpc of facebook okay so facebook has created a vpc in 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 the vpc there are two subnets public subnet and private subnet so you can see in public subnet there are two instances one is bastion host one it is wordpress okay and in private subnet you can see there is mysql so what is mysql mysql is a database right where i mean facebook has the data of all its customers this is kept in private subnet okay this is kept in private subnet your id your password so what basically happens is i'll, I'll just try to explain you okay let me create a new page Facebook login. I'll try to. Okay, I got it. You mean the basically okay. the system which are more more like secure? You are putting them in a private. In the private subnet. And okay. and and how it actually works is that I'll show you. So this is the front page, right? Okay. One I don't know why it is coming in Canada, but again, uh, uh, just try to understand. Uh, my my apologies for the language. I am not sure why it is coming. and i don't even know how to change it now i'll i'll do that later so once you enter the login details okay let's say you enter whatever your login details is okay what it will do is it will go and it will first check with this uh, internally it will go and it will match your login your username and and password with the name stored in database and if it matches then it will allow you to log in that is how act the actual system works right and they all and and all these so these two instance and this instance in private subnet they connect through they communicate through nat gateway okay and 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 don't assume that this instance 
this instance can't access the internet what if there are some updates which has to be installed in a database server then you need this database server to connect to the instance right so this database server will connect through nat gateway through nat gateway it will go to the internet it will not go directly to the internet and while these two uh, uh, server have direct uh, access to the internet okay so this is public subnet this is private subnet and again this is the cidr block this is the cidr block of of the vpc okay once you have created it it cannot be changed okay this is the cidr block of vpc and these two are the cidr block of the public subnet okay this the, these two addresses has to be different so in public subnet to access the public sub to access the internet will create a route table through which it will go and access the internet again these steps and all i will show it to you in the in the later class okay, okay. so they are basically uh, six to eight so basically yeah, there are eight components i guess one is cidr block and the ip address subnet okay one is the route table okay R route table is this this is the cidr okay one two third is the internet gateway okay fourth is the security group okay it's it's not mentioned here fourth is the security group a security group you know right when you create the instance there is a security group i'll just show you if you don't if you have forgotten see uh, uh, go to the instance you create la launch instance see here there's a security group right so this is the security group which we are talking about and 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 on the top of the security group there's a very important one more security group which is nacl nacl okay apart so after nacl we have virtual private gateway then we have elastic ip okay, so these are the seven components of vpc there are two types of vpc i've already told you one is default vpc which aws has given it to you one is custom vpc which you are asking from aws i mean a different vpc which is isolated from other vpcs okay and again two components private subnet and public subnet so these things we will cover in the upcoming classes okay so uh, that is it for today so if you so have without, any without without netting we cannot access the public sorry private uh, private to component right so without nat gateway the instances in private subnet cannot access the internet but public can be accessible right public can access it. that's why uh, they public. are public they can access the internet yeah but netting i believe this is a kind of a security layer or what sorry Netting is I don't get netting. What is netting? Are you gonna teach us netting as well? Net gateway, Nets. net gateway basically acts as a yeah. It's 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 a kind of of security only, right? I mean, uh, the if 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 the if you want your database instance to get updated to access the internet, you'll, it'll go through net gateway because there are a lot of uh, I mean uh, hackers, right? So it'll it'll not allow uh, the any any inbound traffic to come. That is the extra layer of protection for database instance. For the instances basically in private subnet. Okay, I'll, I think we need to. We will cover in in more later class. But say I I would just request and and those who are watching the recordings also I would just request you to just if you uh, can watch some videos on ip addressing please do watch yeah. but again i will cover some basic part of it in in, in tomorrow's class sure okay sure okay okay say any other the question no 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 a <clears throat> lot, lot of things clear actually why before i left the course i was not clear that now today i i'm understanding a bit actually yeah thanks okay okay uh Okay, thank you. And, because, and Sujata, because the network, you... sorry, because the network sorry. thing, I'm, I know I'm working with network, but I don't know knowledge about network. I'm just like a tester, okay. though. That's why. Yeah. Okay, okay. But, but, but you, but you can get the terms right, which, which I'm yeah, using. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I will try. Yeah. Okay, we'll try to cover that as well. Okay, and 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 Sayed, you are also preparing for a certification. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I will. Okay, I will share uh, the terms. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. 
No, as of now, I'm just learning because my my company they are moving a lot, a lot. That's why. But for security, for security, yeah, for sure, I will.